and welcome to Useful Words. Hi, my name is Leroy Glover, and on this channel, we're going to explore useful words. In this video, we're going to share the law of gender, how to balance them for greater advancement. Everything in the universe is divided into two parts, masculine and feminine. These include animals, plants, planets, and even atoms. The masculine principle is active, while the feminine principle is positive. The two must work together in order for anything to happen. In human beings, the maximum principle is represented by the sun and the left brain hemisphere while the feminine principle is representative by the moon and the right brain hemisphere. Masculine energy is associated with logic and reasoning, while feminine energy is associated with emotion and intuition. Both energies are necessary for a well-rounded human being. Because we live in a physical world, we must take on physical form. And because every action has an equal opposite reaction, every form must have its own opposite form. Therefore, we must have both masculine and feminine energies within us in order to create balance. Without both energies, we will be incomplete and unable to create anything new. The law of gender is often overlooked, but nonetheless critical aspect of our existence. It states that every seed contains the potential for both male and female characteristics. This is true not only in the physical level, but also in the energetic and spiritual level. Our gender roles are shaped by the relative portion of male and female energies that we each embody. Most people tend to lead with either their masculine or feminine energies. This is due to the large part of the dominant hemisphere of our brain. The left brain hemisphere is associated with logic, reason, and linear thinking qualities that are typically seen as more masculine in nature. The right brain hemisphere is associated with intuition, emotion, and creative thinking, which is generally seen as more feminine qualities. Depending on which side of the brain is more dominant, we will tend to express more or either the masculine or feminine aspects of ourselves. Of course, we all have both masculine and feminine energies within us. A well-rounded human being is one who is able to draw on both sets of qualities in order to create harmony and balance in their lives. When we can strike this balance, we open ourselves up to a whole world of possibilities. We become more creative, more intuitive, and more intelligent. We also become able to relate to others since we can empathize with both male and woman equally as well. In short, learning to work with the law of gender can help us become better, fuller versions of ourselves. How does the law shape our gender roles and expectations? The law of gender works by dictating that everything in the universe is either male or female. This includes all living things as well as innate objects. The law also dictates that male and female energies are equal but opposite. Male energy is active and assertive, while female energy is passive and receptive. Everything in the universe is a combination of these two energies. The law of gender also dictates that like attracts like. This means that people are attracted to others who have similar energy types. For example, someone who is very masculine will be attracted to someone who is very feminine. This attraction creates a balance between the two energies which helps to create a harmony in the universe. According to this law, each human being has both masculine and feminine qualities and these qualities are expressed in different portions in each individual. The idea is to have a well-rounded human being who is equally balanced between both genders. Some cultures often value one gender over the other and this can have unrealistic expectations and mismatch roles. For example, 
We often expect men to be strong and competent in all areas, while women are expected to be gentle and nurturing. This imbalance can lead to frustration and misunderstanding between the sexes. It's important to remember that each of us is unique, and we all have both masculine and feminine qualities within us. This energy is thought to be divided between the left and right brain hemispheres, with masculine energy being dominant in the left hemisphere and feminine energy being dominant in the right hemisphere. While we all have both types of energy within us, it is thought that one type will be more pronounced than the other. This shapes our gender role and expectations because it is believed that we tend to gravitate towards activities and interests that will reflect our dominant energy. For example, someone with a more pronounced masculine energy may be more likely to pursue careers in science and engineering while someone with a more pronounced feminine energy may be more likely to pursue careers in the arts or teaching. Ultimately, the law of gender helps to explain why each of us have our own unique set of interests and talents. The law of gender not only shapes our gender role and expectations, but also how we see ourselves. We are raised with certain beliefs about what it means to be a man or a woman, for example, boys are taught to be tough and to show their emotions, while girls are taught to be nurturing and care for others. These expectations can lead to challenges later in life when we don't feel like we fit into the box that society has created for us. It's important to understand that we all both have masculine and feminine energies regardless of our gender. We should embrace both sides of ourselves instead of stifling one side to fit societal norms. By doing this, we create a more balanced world where everyone is free to express themselves fully. What implications does this have for society as a whole and for individual men and women specifically? This law is often misunderstood because people think that it only manifests physical things. However, the law manifests everything in life, including our thoughts, emotions, experiences, and circumstances. So if you want to change your life, you have to start with your thoughts because they are the seeds that give birth to everything else in life. The law of gender works through the power of vibration. When you have a thought, it goes out into the universe and attracts energy that vibrates at the same frequency. This energy manifests itself in your life as circumstances, experiences, and people depending on what you're thinking about. The law of gender is a universal law that governs the creative process. It states that for every force, there's an equal and an opposite force. For example, for every action, there's a reaction. The law of gender also applies to human beings who are seen as being either male or female. While each individual has both masculine and feminine qualities, one is typically dominant. This dominancy is typically determined by the well-roundness of the individual. A well-rounded human being would have a perfect balance of both masculine and feminine qualities. However, it's more common for an individual to be mainly masculine or feminine. This imbalance is usually caused by the dominant hemisphere of the brain. The left hemisphere is typically associated with masculine principles, while the right hemisphere is typically associated with feminine principles. As a result, individuals who are predominantly left brain are usually masculine in nature, while those who are predominantly right brain are usually more feminine in nature. This imbalance can have implications for society as a whole, as well as for individual men and women. On a social level, imbalance between masculine and feminine energies can lead to disharmony. Sadly, this imbalance can lead to many problems such as wars and conflicts or general feelings of inequality. When we learn to embrace both sides of our nature, we will be able to create a more balanced and harmonious world. On an individual level, an imbalance can lead to feelings of dissatisfaction and frustration. Men who focus on the masculine side may become too aggressive 
and insensitive. While women who only focus on their feminine side may become too passive and nurturing. It is therefore important for both men and women to strive for balance in their lives in order to create harmony both within themselves and within society as a whole. And while we tend to think of masculine and feminine energies as being opposite ends of a spectrum, the truth is that they are two sides of the same coin. They are not in competition of each other, but rather complement and complete each other. For example, let's take water for instance. Water has both masculine and feminine properties. It can take on a liquid form which is soft and flowing, feminine, but it can also freeze into ice, which is hard and immovable, masculine. Water is essential for life. We need it to drink, to grow our food, to bathe, to clean, and the list goes on. And without both masculine and feminine energies working together in harmony, we would not be able to survive. In everyone's life, there are certain moments that stand out as powerful influencers of the direction of our lives will take. For some, it might be a teacher who showed them that they were smart enough to achieve anything they set their minds to. For others, it might be a grandparent who shared wisdom and experience that has stayed with them throughout their lives. And then there are those moments that not just change our lives, but the course of history. The discovery of the law of gender is one of those moments. This universal truth reveals that everything in the universe, including each of us, has both masculine and feminine aspects. It's what makes us whole. And understanding and applying this truth can have profound implications for us as individuals and for society as a whole. How Masculine and Feminine Energy Work Together The law of gender is one of the laws of nature that states that everything in the universe is dual. Everything has an opposite. This law manifests in humanity through the fact that we have masculine and feminine energies within us. The goal is to balance these energies within ourselves to become whole, well-rounded human beings. Too much of either energy leads to imbalance and disharmony. The term gender refers to the societal constructed roles, behavior, activities, and attributes that a given society considers appropriate for men and women. These varies from culture to culture and change over time. In the past, most society had very rigid gender roles with little room for deviation. And today, there is more flexibility in gender roles, but they still exist. Our brain hemisphere also reflects this duality. The left hemisphere is typically associated with logic, linear, and analytical thinking, while the right hemisphere is associated with creative, intuitive, and emotional thinking. Again, the goal is to have balance between both types of thinking in order to be a well-rounded human being. The law of gender is one of many laws that govern our universe. It's important to be aware of these laws and how they shape our lives so that we can create harmony with them and create the lives that we want. It's no secret that the law shapes our society in many ways. From the founding of our country to the way we conduct business today, the law has a profound impact on nearly every aspect of our lives. This includes gender roles. Though we like to think of our gender as natural and binary, the reality is, is that our legal system plays a role in creating and reinforcing these roles. For example, laws that dictate what behaviors are considered masculine or feminine can have a significant impact on how we view ourselves and each other. Other laws, such as those govern marriage, also have a defined and reinforcing traditional gender role. As our society continues to evolve, it's important that we examine the way in which the laws shape our gender roles. Only by doing so, we can ensure that everyone enjoys the same rights, opportunities, regardless of their gender. 
Now that you understand how the law of gender works, you can start using it to attract what you want into your life. If you want to attract love, for example, focus on balancing your masculine and feminine energies. If you want to attract abundance, focus on using your intuition to make decisions about money. Trust that your inner guidance will lead you to what you desire. Remember, everything in the universe is made up of masculine and feminine energy, including you. When you use the law of gender to bring more balance into your life, you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. I'm Leroy Glover, and I thank you.